said, I think someone's at the door. Have you made any weapons yet? I'm working on it. Take it easy. You have never had a really bad feeling about this. Watch out! Ah! You okay, Ned? Ned? Ah! Are you all right, Sven? Get this thing off me! I can't breathe! What happened? Where's the monster? Destroyed by my new weapon. Wow! Awesome! Can you make more? Yes, of course. Yay! Fascinating. This thing's DNA matches human DNA by 99.8%. That most likely means this was a human before something happened to it. This stinks. Yeah, something's really strange here. No, I mean that this rotten carcass really stinks. It sure does. Why did it try to kill us? I don't have the answers, but I know where we can find them. You mean... Yes. The computer shop. I'm done with our weapons and shields. Only the suits remain, but I need some more materials for that. I think I saw something useful in the hospital. That means we could also check how the doctor's doing. I have a few things I wish to ask him about this lab. Oh no! Wait a second, he's a... robot? But, how is this possible? Who built him? And who made the lab? Can't you fix him? No, I'm afraid he's too advanced. Should we just go in and fix the suits then? Hello! Who are you? My name is Lars. I live in the next town. It's called Snorkroka. There's a terrible place in Snorkroka. It's called the computer shop. In there, they perform terrible experiments on humans. The fortunate ones die. As for the others, <laughs> they caught me as well. However, they said I was useless and kicked me out. They took all of my friends and relatives. I'm looking for someone that can help them before it's too late. Why are they doing this? And who's in charge? I don't know. And that's my story. So who are you guys? It all started when me and Sven were small. That's fantastic! I'll go home now and hide and wait for you to come and rescue everyone. Bye! What a strange guy. Yeah, but he did have some interesting information. Too bad he didn't know more. Well then, time to make some suits. Yes! So, what do you think? Awesome! I'm not so sure about mine. Looking good, butt boy. Okay, fine. Now let me tell you about the weapons and shields. We both have a pair of black gloves. The shield, which is in the left glove, activates automatically. It runs on nano batteries and has a very high capacity. I have calculated that a direct hit from the monster we fought last would reduce the shield with about 2%. Dude, that means we're almost invincible. 
The right glove, which also runs on nano batteries, fires a weapon. The blast is about 50 times more powerful than the missiles from my missile launcher, but concentrated to a smaller area to avoid blowing up things we don't want to blow up. Like ourselves. Question! Yes? How many times can we fire the weapon before the batteries run out? Between two and three hundred. Dude! Are we powerful or what? There's only one thing left to do now. Oh yeah, Batman's back, baby! Why did you blow up the hospital door? Let's go, butt boy! Our final battle awaits! Let's go and kick some butt. Yeah. I'm afraid I can't let you go any further. What the? 